Hi, my name is Mercedes. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful TV stand. As you can see, it looked very different before. And now, it, I mean, I am obsessed with how it looks. So if you want to see how I made this, then keep watching. So this is the whole storage. I've started painting here. There is a piece of sandpaper. I use that to sand all this. Where it's dark brown, you can see it's kind of gone grey. I'm gonna put some painter's tape on and project some of the sides I don't want to paint or I'm not sure if I'm going to paint yet. And then start painting. How exciting. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, and I've also taken off the knobs. They were just screwed. And the paint I'm using is just from Craft World. Um, there we go. <laughs> yep. It's pretty good. Here's a short time lapse of me painting the TV unit. Once I purchased rollers, I did two coats of this chalk paint and then I also used a top coat which I'm going to show and insert a picture here. And then moved on to doing the doors. So we're in the last phases of upcycling this TV cabinet which is behind our current TV cabinet. So this is the door, I took it off and the existing glass panel I'm going to cover with these wooden sticks. Well, there we go. Um, and I'm going to use this glue gun to glue them on. And for the handles, these used to be the handles. And I'm going to glue this dowel on top of it so it's going to sit like that a little bit further out and I think it will look really nice so here's the next step and refurbishing this little TV unit that's how one of the doors looks like it looks a lot darker on camera than what it actually is um, so I'm just staining it at the moment um, there it is when you look closer, you can really see that there are quite a few imperfections. But I think whenever this focuses, you will see that it looks quite pretty. So this is what I used. I used these little, I think they're called lollipop sticks. And I just cut off the ends to look like this. And then to glue it down, I used this. No more nails. I don't know if you can see, but these sticks go horizontal on that. And then the next one that I'm doing at the minute, it's vertical. So hopefully it will just be a slight twist and to look a bit and it should turn out well. Shortly. Here I have another time lapse. This time I'm staying in the door. I'm gonna insert a picture of the stain I used here. I could have used a cloth but I thought a brush in this case would be more precise. After this I also stained the dowel pieces that I then stuck onto the old handles using the no more nails glue I showed you before. How gorgeous! Oh yeah, I just love it. I'm pretty pleased. So yes, I just used the old knobs. Focus for me, please. I uh, painted them white and then glued these dowel pieces on top, which I just got from, I think it's called Craft World in Belfast. I, it was like 250 for a really long rod. And then I cut it into these smaller pieces, glued it on and it worked. And yes, I kept the inside as it was. 
because you're not going to see it much and it's probably going to be filled with crap. And if you look closely enough, you can see that these are just these little lollipop pieces. And even if you look closely, it still looks nice, but it especially looks gorgeous from a distance. So thanks so much for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I know the decor isn't exactly fitting for this room, but it's going to my boyfriend's flat and I think it's going to look amazing. I'm really excited. I'm really pleased. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.